Every brother Let's call it in the crossfire <laughs> Hello everyone, Jason Lay back here again. Today we'll be reacting to the Honest Trailers Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. For years, Sony has tried to launch a Spider-Verse to call its own. Some have been good. Some have been bad. Some have been Venom, and hmm. some never even started swinging. Now well, they're back true. with an all new strategy. Saying f it and doing all the spider stuff at once. <laughs> spider Man into the Spider Verse. Strap in with this fresh take on your favorite neighborhood superhero that's probably one of the best movies of 2018. Honestly, yes. Got a lot of probably my top five. I don't know. It. Movies a work of art, man. Maybe I'll just run out the clock on this one by pushing random buttons in my booth. Hmm, what's this one do? Uh, that's not a good sound. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in my recording booth anymore. Who are you? I'm Epic Geek Girl, the voice of Honest Trailers from an alternate dimension. Just sunny, upbeat, and emotionally healthier. And... And what? That's all the explanation the movie gave. Wanna team up for this one? Heck yeah! <laughs> Suit up for a fresh new take on the Spider-Man franchise that combines jaw-dropping camera work and fever dream visuals. With a yeah. multicultural hip-hop-fueled New York that proves Sony product placement is the one constant in the multiverse. To create a Sony is always going to have product placement the even in their Lego greatest Batman. films. Same as a comic -Con. What's comic -Con? The heart of Superman. And the visual style of Pixar. Hey, this movie doesn't hey, look anything like the animation close. we've gotten used to. Does every animated character in your reality do the eyebrow thing too? Yep. Uh, this booth is getting kind of crowded. <laughs> who are you three? I'm the epic dungeon master, a far traveler from a distant realm who earns his keep being critical about movies. Y es yo, la voz épica de la mujer telenovela. Yo regreso en pasión a los honest trailers. G'day, I'm Australian voice guy. Mr. Sunday, Sunday movie. Huh. How's that work? Yes. Boobs. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, that works. Shall we continue this quest? Let's do this. Park your Peters, because there's an all-new <laughs> Spider-Man on the block, Miles Morales. He's a relatable, sweet, nerdy high school kid that was bitten by a radioactive spider. Y destruido por la muerte de su tío y su amor por Stacy. Wait, how is he all new? This Spider-Man, like Post Malone? Call it Chris, now baby, I'm a rare. Okay. Yeah, yeah completely different. But you won't want to walk a yeah, mile in really his spinning shoes. Because this spider guy doesn't just have one coming of age problem. He's got all of them. From dealing with his demanding dad. Finding his artistic voice. To fitting in at a new school. Y manteniendo un amor prohibido de otro dimension. Living away from home for the first time. And puberty. It's a puberty thing. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Crikey, just so much puberty. Please stop sticking. But Miles isn't alone on his spider quest. Because plenty of spider I never knew that little part. detail. From the hot bod version. To the dad bod version. Y Nicolas Cage, haciendo el papel de el mismo. Sometimes I let matches burn down to my fingertips just to feel something, anything. John Mulaney, playing What's himself. What's wrong with I Nicolas like Cage playing himself? Right. And one that's so anime, I'm amazed she's not licensed by Funimation. Together, they'll battle all new takes on classic Maybe spider is. bad guys. Like the chaotic, neutral, and completely terrifying Prowler. And the sexy cat lady version of Doc Ock. All led by the Kingpin. A tragic villain mourning the loss of his wife, his son, and his neck. Hey, don't take my punch <laughs> like that in my own booth. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Uh, this is a mess. How did the movie keep all this manageable? So take the leap with a movie that sounded like a terrible idea when you first heard about it. But ended up being so good we can't wait for more miles. Or Gwen Stacy. Or whatever they throw at us. I'm down. Down under. Get it? I'm Australian. O quizás una saga trágica de la hombre araña encontrándose con su propio clónico, los dos creándose ser el Peter Parker real, pero en un momento climático. I love this lady who's voicing. Era hombre araña real o el clónico. Hey, so 
except for that one. Well, guys, it's been fun, but it's time to wrap up. How do you want to do this? Story. Uh, well, I, I would watch 500 miles to Peter Piper, but the pack of Peter Parker. Depression sweats, depression sweats. They're as sad as things can get. Plot <laughs> recluse. Boss Baby, 2099. <laughs> John Hamm. My hero, Arachidemia. Cage against the machine. And, and Purple Shava Ali. Love the movie. Bug Hero 6. You know, you guys could always stay. We could be an epic voice family. Sorry, my kangaroo's to box. Además, que te amo. Nunca podemos estar juntos. Yo tengo que regresar a mi propio cabin. Until we meet again, my friend. Is it Tuesday yet? Plus, if we stay here, our atoms will explode. So later, nerds. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Oh man, I hope they come back soon. Because I'm not watching the Jared Leto Morbius movie by myself. Thanks to my epic voice first friend, Felicia. That would be cool. Check Honestly, be good. Sci-fi comedy podcast, Voyage to the Stars, wherever you get your podcasts. And to Matt Mercer. To learn more about Critical Role and the Kickstarter for their animated series, visit CritRoll.com. Is the first episode of our new series. Okay. I love this. I love this song's trailer. Um, definitely these guys are starting to gain my interest more and more right now. I think I stopped watching them a while ago. I tried with Jurassic World, and even though I knew that, that they're going to say a lot of bad things about that movie, still Ron and Odd Trailer, I, felt, I still felt like, well, when's it going to, it's not how it was, I loved it. I need to love you guys. Right now, I feel like these guys are definitely improving for me at least. I mean, this honest trailer is brilliant. I love how they got all these different voiceovers and put all this effort into making this trailer and having all these jokes be actually genuinely funny. Honestly, this this is probably this is a great honest trailer. I love this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. So heaven if you sent us down, so we can build a plague around for the sinners to say.